Number 30, letter A. What magnitude point charge creates a 10,000 newton per coulomb electric field at a distance of 0.25 meters? All right. So whenever you're thinking about, you know, how electric field relates to distance from a particular charge, uh, I got a little picture down here, right? I mean, we have the charge. In this case, I pointed the lines, the field lines away from the charge. So what does that tell us the charge value is, right? The sign is going to be positive. The lines always point away. If it were negative, the lines would have been pointing in the exact same way, but just towards it, okay? Uh, Why did I choose positive? No clue. I guess I want to feel positive. I don't know. Uh, so what we now realize is that at a particular distance, they're telling me, you know, the distance is 0.25 meters. So let's just choose a random distance. Let's choose this to be uh, the distance of 0.25 meters. We know that at that particular distance, at exactly this point, there's an electric field produced, elect there's an electric field direction and strength uh, at that particular point. And that electric field is a function of, according to our formula, that electric field strength is going to be a function of the force, uh, I keep saying force constant, electrostatic constant, okay, multiplied by the charge value that we're talking about in the middle. Right? Why is it capital? Uh, I, don't, I don't really know. You can make it lowercase. Divided then by the distance between the point of interest in which you're trying to calculate that electric field for and the charge. All right, that's the R. So basically, all I now need to do is basically just plug in for this problem, right? So it's going to be K is equal to 8.99 times 10 to the ninth, multiplied then by the Q. Uh, whether they tell us, that's what we're trying to find. So what's the E? Obviously, I should have reread the problem. And this is 10,000. All right, and that's all divided by the distance between them squared. Don't forget to square this. And then just solve this bad boy for Q. All right, so this is going to be 10,000 times 0.25 squared, divided by then 8.99 times 10 to the ninth. So this becomes 6.95, 6.95 times 10 to the minus eighth. And that's going to be in terms of uh, coulombs. Well, you can convert that into micro coulomb if you wanted, milli, I don't, it doesn't matter. But that's the value, all right? So that's letter A. And then how about now letter B? How large is the field at 10 meters? So what's the only thing that's going to change? The only thing that's going to change down here is the distance. So instead of 0.25, it now becomes 10. So just do the same math again, just with the 10 down there, all right? So this is going to be 10,000 multiplied by then uh, 10 squared, basically, divided then by 8.99 times 10 to the ninth. And what do we get? We get now Q is equal to, oh no, how large is the field? I'm sorry. All right, so how large is the field? All right, so let's write out our formula. That the electric field strength is going to be equal to the electrostatic constant K multiplied by the absolute value of the charge that we're talking about, divided by then the distance between the electric field strength, or the point at which we're trying to calculate the electric field, and the charge squared. So we're trying to find now the electric field. So that's our unknown. The K is going to be 8.99 times 10 to the ninth. The Q is what we just calculated over here. So that's going to be 6.95 times 10 to the negative eighth. And then that's all divided now by the distance uh, squared. So it's going to be 10 meters squared. So let's find that electric field. What we better anticipate is that it's probably going to be less. Right? The electric field is stronger when it's closer. Okay? Why? Because the R is in the bottom. Right? If you want to look at it mathematically, the radius, if this gets smaller, then E goes up. All right? It's inversely related. So now let's calculate 8.99 times 10 to the ninth multiplied by 6.95 times 10 to the minus eighth. Then divide that now by 10 squared. And we get a value of about 6.25 uh, newtons per coulomb. Notice that's significantly less. Before it was 10,000, now it's 6.25. All right, let me just double check, make sure I plug that in correctly. Everything looks good. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please help us out and subscribe. Hit that like button. Tell your friends. We appreciate it very, very much. Thank you.